Hey guys, we are here at Lanes and Farm for our hometown tours, Horse Farms of the Bluegrass, and I am here with Mr. Bill Farish. Bill, first of all, thank you so much for having us today. We're happy to have you. Thanks for coming out. This place is absolutely gorgeous. Let's talk about the history of Lanes and Farm. Well, my parents bought Lanes in the first piece of it back in 1979. Uh -huh. It was about 240 acres, and they we're lucky enough to get a few farms around contiguous to it, and, and we now have a little over 2,000 acres here. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really is. Now let's talk about one of your famous horses from the past, A.P. Indy. Let's talk about the history there. Well, A.P. Indy turns 30 this year, which is very nice. exciting. It's uh, to, to have a horse that you know can live that long and, and has had the influence that he's had on the breed is, is really exciting. And, uh, people still, he's the, he's the one everybody wants to see when they come here, and he's got uh, sons and grandsons standing here, so it's, it's very exciting to have him. That's amazing. I mean, I, I guess, you know, for a horse like that, when you have the sons and grandsons, surely you see some of the traits from him in these sons and grandsons, is that right? Yeah, we definitely do. I mean, he, you know, we've, we've got Mine Shaft, who's a, who's a son of his that's an older horse, and, and now Honor Code, who was from his last crop of, of foals. Uh, and they do have a lot of the same traits, a lot of the same mental strength that he had. Mm -hmm. And what would you say were some of his greatest accomplishments? Well, certainly, I mean, he, he, the list is long. He, he was uh, the top price yearling of his year. He uh -huh. brought $2.9 million at the sale. Wow. Then went on to be a champion racehorse. He was horse of the year uh, on the racetrack, which was just amazing. And then to come back and be a champ, multiple key champion sire here, uh, it's just, you know, he's, he's done it all. Well, that's incredible. And we, and we have so much more to talk about. We do have to go to commercial break, though. But keep it right here. You're watching Good Day Kentucky, and we are at Lanes and Farm. Hey, guys, welcome back. We are here at Lanes and Farm. I'm here with Bill Farish. Bill, the farm is absolutely gorgeous. You really do have the best job in the world. You do know this, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, there's many mornings of... Uh, Thrilled to, th to arrive here at work. I it's, bet. It's a beautiful place. I, I bet. It really is. Um, let's talk about, you have three new stallions here at the mm -hmm. farm. Is that right? We do. We have uh, Accelerate, City of Light, and West Coast are, are three new stallions this year. And uh, we're very excited about all of them. And, yeah. And they all have great books in their first year. That's fantastic. Now, what kind of challenges, I guess, would arise in having three new stallions? I mean, it's always a big deal to get one, I'm sure, but to have three at the same time. Right, it is a challenge. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a logistical challenge. With all three of them breed, you know, over 170 mares this year. So, yeah. so they've, uh, you know, getting, getting those books all sorted out and all the mares bred uh, is, is a challenge. Yeah, yeah. Would it be fair for me to say that you like to invest into the families of these horses and these stallions? Um, and what is that like? I mean, is, is that something that you've believed in for a long time? Yeah, we've had a lot of luck um, having sons of stallions that have stood here before that mm -hmm. have been successful and, uh, you know, sons of AP Andy, sons of Quality Road, mm -hmm. sons of, uh, we actually have one sire line, Dixieland Band, who then was the sire of Dixie Union and now the sire of Union Rank. So uh, pretty exciting to have three generations of sons uh, right. all standing here. So Okay. And what what's kind of the, the future goals? What are, what are you looking at, um, you know, five years from now, ten years from now here for the farm? Well, we're a little bit like John Calipari. <laughs> we're all, you're only as good as your latest recruits. So, right. So we're always trying to recruit new stallions and and uh, you know, hopefully have have uh, championship years. Yeah, absolutely. And as far as with being here at the farm itself, um, what would you say is your favorite part of, of being a part of this whole uh, process? Well, I'd say definitely the springtime is my favorite time of year because mm -hmm. we, uh, we have a lot of a lot of young foals running around the farm, and uh, it's just you know everybody loves to see foals and and. Uh, running around with their mothers in the fields. And, right. and, and the, you know, when the weather turns here in Kentucky, there's, there's no prettier place in, in the world. It, I absolutely agree with you. And you guys offer tours and all of that, but we're, we have to go to commercial break. We'll be back though. Keep it right here. You're watching Good Day Kentucky. We're at Lanes and Farm. Hey guys, welcome back. We are here at Lanes and Farm. I'm here with Bill Farish, and we're gonna talk about Quality Road. Let's talk about this horse, amazing. 
Yeah, he really has been an incredible stallion. He's 13 years old now. He's still, you know, just entering middle age. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's been a, he's off to a great start as a stallion, and and is already um, we already have a son of his back here at the farm. So nice. It's, it's exciting, exciting time for him. He's he was owned and bred by a guy named Ned Evans, Edward P. Evans, and a longtime friend of ours, and who unfortunately passed away very early in Quali Road's career. But, uh, you know, he's, his, his presence is still being felt here at Lane's End through Quality Road. Oh, that's great. And there's also Charitable Link there, too, as well. Let's talk about that. Yeah, Mr. Evans left all, all his horse assets, plus all his assets, to a charitable foundation called the Edward P. Evans Foundation. And mm -hmm. it uh, does a lot of great work in cancer research, and all the proceeds from, from Quality Road's breeding rights go to uh, this charitable foundation. That's incredible. That really is. Now, why do you think Kentucky is so, I mean, to have these caliber of horses and stallions here in the great state of Kentucky, what do you think is the reason behind why these stallions do so well with the being within the state of Kentucky? Well, it, you know, it all goes back to the soil here and, and how well horses do uh, being raised in this area. And that's mm -hmm. why the industry sort of started uh, to, to can, you know, to center right around central Kentucky in the bluegrass area. Yeah. And it's really, uh, you know, it, we're so lucky to have that asset here in, mm -hmm. our, in, in our beautiful state. Oh, that's fantastic. And for people that want to come and visit the farm, you offer tours here too. Um, how do people get a hold of you or what do they need to do in order to do a tour here? You know, the best way is to go through horse country, horsecountry.com. Okay. All and, right. And they, uh, they book uh, tours and all, this, all the farms around Kentucky. Wonderful. Well, thank you for having us, and, and thank you for the tour. We appreciate it. It's beautiful. you got to check it out. You are watching Good Day Kentucky. Keep it right here.